Hello everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Battletoads for the Genesis. Last time, lots of bullshit happened, so let's go into Surf City. It surfs up! Now we're in this level. Uh, this level is mostly intact. Mostly. Oh yeah, that trick I had where you stay on the bottom right doesn't work that well in this level. But for the most part, this level is pretty intact. You can still do the quick kill of, um... What was it? Um... Shoot, I forgot what the rat's name is. Oh yeah, you can't punch the space invaders. You can't punch the space invaders because they don't let you. They gotta steal your health. Blagus. That's right. Or Blag. Big Blag. Oh, they did alter one thing. That... That walker wasn't supposed to... That walker wasn't supposed to take, uh, that first walker wasn't supposed to take three hits, only this one. Oh, fuck you. He just pops up. Ooh, you like that, don't you? Oh. There we go. Yeah, but unlike the NES one where he bounces up into the air, uh, this one he doesn't, which is, which makes it much easier, but at the same time you can't really speed it up, because you gotta, you can just mash it, like for reals this time. And he doesn't seem to take as many hits. Also the mines here, unlike the NES one, uh, these ones are set. These ones are set. Oh yeah, and you can't, and unlike the NES one, you can't bounce back into like your checkpoint marker to get points, which was a trick to get extra one-ups. Right. See? Oh. Oh, whoops. I must be thinking of uh, Volkmeyer's Inferno then. Okay, so we'll stay on top. Doesn't give you any warning about the uh, ramp, so good luck on that. Okay, but the staying up at, top, at the top trick works and only some of the mines can kill you there. That's, uh, that's, oh, yeah, they, they switched up the location of the one-up to quote-unquote make it easier. Also, if you screw up, if you go too early on the ramps, you actually fall to your doom instead of getting saved. Or landing on the next thing. So, stay as far back as you can. Last three, and... Yeah, they're, they're, they're not random. They're not random at all. Take it from me, Swamp Breath. You won't be going any further. It's time to grab a piece of tail, Toad, and hang on tight. Oh my god. Carnair's Lair. Oh, the music's great here if my Genesis didn't butcher it, but they... F but, you know what is butchered? This level. Look at the tail of that snake. It, it just jumps, like... It just jumps and loses, like, several, like, feet of snake. In the NES one? It was, it was pixel per pixel. So this level really, really cheats you out. Oh yeah, and unlike the NES one, where you can jump onto a snake and like quickly climb, and climb up to it, which at first I thought it was a weird thing, but after playing this game, I wish it was, I wish it was there. Oh yeah, if we were fast enough, there would have been a, there would have been a warp below us, but I took my time because I'm de-rusting. Fuck him in the face. Fuck him in the face. Fuck him. Fuck him in the face. Can I fuck him in the face? Fuck him. Actually, this slow beat version of it sounds like a, like some kind of weird rap. Yeah, definitely should have dashed off instead. Look at how much like how much space you lose because like every time like the snake tail um, approaches like a turn, it just disappears, which made like this part in particular real difficult. My bad. That strat does not work here. I gotta keep playing like I am playing the original NES one though, or else I'm gonna get shittified by this. Cause that no death uh, battle toads run, I, I I still had the Genesis poison in my in my system, in my poison my skills, so it really messed with so it really messed with it. Cause then I started sucking again. Okay, see that snake tail I jumped off of, like, right before it disappeared? On the NES, they gave you time. This one, fuck no. Yeah, so, 
here, you have to jump for it, but in the NES, you can just stay in the middle, wait for the snake to come back, and he'd give you enough room. Oh, that was bullshit. Also, the shortcut exit in the, in the last area of this uh, level, in the NES, it's, it's much easier to do, but here, it's much, much harder to do. You can do it, I've actually, I've done it before, but it's very, oh shit, that was, that was a little tight. That was a little close, for comfort. But yeah, I'll, I'll explain when we get there. Oh yeah, that was messed up. Just look at how much, like, you lose in terms of, like, space to, like, stand on. It kind of makes, it makes it unintentionally harder than the original, so they kind of failed there, but the bullet snakes here are, are much slower, I won't say easier, and normally you could just instantly jump in here. Alright, final area with the snakes. The shortcut exit that you do where you jump off one of the snakes doesn't work so well in this level. But, see, I gotta jump early. In the NES one, I could just take my time. I can just take my time, but no, I gotta jump early. I gotta jump up early! Yeah, okay, coming up is the stake. Fuck! King, what the hell? That was bullshit. Oh shit, now I'm starting to lose lives. Because I'm screwing around too much, and the fact that, uh, just, just this game in general. Just this game in general. Do not practice and get good at this game. This game is terrible. Or this version of this game is terrible. Okay, that's what I wanted to do. Now normally, you can just jump, but over here in the Genesis one, the ceiling blocks your, um... blocks your toe. And right here you want to jump too, or else you'll just instantly die. Oh yeah, and you can't do air dashes in this game, which is, uh... which sucks! Oh. Fuck. Hitbox, hitbox. Why must you hit me in the box? You are such a son of a bitch. Yeah, and also I do, and I also hate Carnav Lair Carnav's Lair in both versions, because it's just a slow level and I just hate it. Da -da -da. The only good thing is the music, but that's about it. See, I'm trying to climb up and I can't do it. What the? I've never seen that where I like get where I got stuck in the jump animation. Anyways, I don't usually do Carnav Lair the normal way. I just take the shortcut. But in this one, I gotta do it the uh, long way. Oh god, jeez. Oh god, jeez. Oh jeez. What? Jump. One, two, three, jump. Oh yeah, and this part was super killer in co-op, because D. Tyson and I got stuck. What you have to do is jump off of that, and you see the snake tail coming after us? That stuff is killer. So, you think you're hot, huh, Toads? Well, it looks like it's going to get hotter down there. Much hotter. Looks like the Dark Queen's got a warm reception plan for the battle, Toads. Are you talking to us? No thanks. Volkmire's Inferno. Everyone likes this level, and I can kind of eventually see why. Oh, damn it. Oh, did I mention the rats can punch you while you're down? Not fucking cool! So it's easy to get screwed here. I actually made it here without dying, but then the bullet rats fucked me over because their hit detection is stupid. Okay, I gotta be careful. There are some lives I can lives I can get here. Oh no. Oh, you know I forgot if I could do the um the jump and keep on jumping trick. It's it's a speed running tr it's a speed running trick where as long as you keep holding right, you can just keep jumping and you'll just land on the locks every single time. But of course, because this game, of course, this version of it sucks, I'm gonna die! Oh yeah, and the rats get stuck. Isn't that cute? Oh jeez. Just avoid them. I can't believe I survived that. Normally, you would not survive that. At least from 
every time I tr when I was trying to um, speed run it. You're shitting me. You're shitting me. I didn't hit the other one. Oh, fuck it. Shitty ass hit detection, and I'm dead. You only have three continues. Oh jeez. Oh jeez. I really, really don't want to have to like play through it again because this, this is not fun. Oh fuck you. That was bullshit. Eat a dick. Eat a large one. And no, it's not some sort of innuendo for a pe for a pepperoni uncut. Oh my god. Die! Like, if you went into that area wrong in the NES one, you could get screwed, but you were, like, super screwed like the toads here. Okay, jump after the logs. Don't jump as they're, as they're, uh, going towards you. It just, it doesn't... What the f Stupid, stupid Genesis controller. And you're gonna find out what's what makes this version even more stupid and more difficult for the wrong reasons. Okay. So can't believe I survived that. I should have used that if I was doing the no death thing. This is this is tough to no death. It's very easy to die. Oh. Jeez, I, what the hell was that third rat doing? That was very weird. By the way, there were supposed to be four rats, but they they, they um, got rid of one of them just to make it easier. Quote unquote easier. Best music here if it wasn't butchered by my NES, or my Genesis. Oh, and also there's a kicker here. Wow, this is the best music in the game. If you happen to die at any point during this run, that music doesn't play again. You have to listen to the regular, the uh, first part of Voltmire Inferno's uh, level. Yeah, this is trial and error-ish and thing, so... Can't say, like, uh, oh, whatever. Oh, this fireball scene? The programmers had an oversight on this, and if you stay to the top left, fireballs will never, ever touch you. Although I do want to get a one up there. There we go. By the way, sometimes, because the programming sucks, a fireball will sometimes spawn on top of the one up and you can't grab it. I've had that happen. But yeah, if you stay way up here, nothing can harm you. Nothing. Nothing. You see that? Nothing harmed me. It was funny because D. Tyson was dodging everything and it was like, meanwhile, I was just hiding up up there and it was, it was like... Oh, hey, hey, look, look, D. Tyson, I didn't have to dodge shit, you had to dodge all the stuff, making it unnecessarily more difficult. Anyways, volley two, fire. I always say that to keep track. There's four volley of the, four volleys of them, and I don't know what dropped in the, in the next room. Don't know if you heard that. Third volley, fire. Or volley th three, fire. Oh, snap. At least they made it so that you have to do this normally, which... It was a little tricky. Oh, oh they they switched up the one up! It was supposed to be on the top right. That was, that was why I was staying up there. Up, down, down. They give you more space and... Uh, yeah, they, they just give you more space in this one. The NES one, you have to be quite good at it. Yeah, they also... One of the barriers got removed, the one where it was incoming. That will kill your toad. Got to fly. Got to fly. Got to fly right through the fences. Got to fly. Got to fly. Yeah, it still haven't worked on that on that album, and I almost forgot about that. This is much easier to do than the NES one, so yeah, it was easier. Man, that took a while. The higher you climb, swamp scum, the further you'll fall. The only way is up, Toad, so let's go for it! Next is Intruder Excluder. This level is pretty killer because of the, des because of the way this was designed.
But, oh yeah, no, and no pause music, by the way. Didn't mention that. But anyways, so that'll be it for now. Stay tuned for the next part where we deal with Intruder Excluder and further levels. And I'm Wizard 100, you're the viewers, and I'm the Let's Player. So stay tuned for more. Be sure to check out my review channel, LazyWorks Creations, on YouTube. So with that, see ya!